Hello everyone, let us continue our uh, additional examples uh, for the basic formulas. So we have two basic formulas here that we have discussed last time. This one and this one. So last time I gave you uh, three examples. So I'll give you additional example to continue this. As mentioned, uh, last time we we discussed some examples that corresponds to each of these formulas and then uh, in our last uh, three examples uh, we tried to use both of these uh, formula uh, combine them together okay so uh, we have already three examples no? the combination of these two so now I'm going to continue the num the fourth uh, example. So we are given integral of a quantity 3x squared plus 5x to the power 3 halves then minus 6 and multiplied by dx okay so to solve this as uh, in our previous examples we just uh, distribute this uh, integral sign in its term and together with this dx okay so we have our first term integral of 3x squared dx then plus the integral of 5x to the power 3 halves dx then minus the integral of 6 dx okay then for the first term you can uh, we can put uh, the, the constant outside the integral sign we have x squared dx then plus similarly we can put 5 outside the integral sign times integral of x to the power 3 halves dx minus 6 times the integral of dx <coughs> Then applying the rule, so originally it looks like uh, this one, but uh, if you examine also uh, formula number two, so after isolating this uh, constants, so we can say that this belongs to uh, basic formula number two, and so do with this uh, term number or second term. Now the third term just follows the first formula. Okay, so applying the formula, so we have uh, 3 times the integral of x squared. So this will be x to the n plus 1. So our n here is 2. So 2 plus 1. So this will be 3. Then divided by n minus 1. So 2 plus 1. So this is also 3. Then plus, you can put there uh, c1. Then in the second term, you have c2. The third term we can have the constant c3 but as we know we can combine all the constants c1 plus c2 plus c3 as c okay so to make our solution shorter so we just uh, combine them uh, immediately so we have 5 then x to the power what is 3 halves plus 1 so i think that's uh, 3 halves plus 1 okay so 3 halves plus 1 so we'll find LCD here which is uh, 2 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3 is 3 so plus because this is plus so this is understood over 1 so 2 divided by 1 is 2 times 1 2 so therefore we have 5 halves so the power here is 5 halves then divided by 5 halves 
then minus so integral of dx is x so times 6 so 6x then plus the constant of integration c or this is so we have 3 divided by 3 equal to 1 so first term is on the x cube then plus invert the divisor okay so when you invert the divisor so this becomes uh, 5 then times you invert the divisor you have 2 divided by 5 proceed to multiplication you have x to the power 5 halves then minus 6x plus c or equal to x cube then you have 5 at the numerator 5 at the denominator so 5 divided by 5 is 1 so what is left this is 2 x to the power 5 halves then minus 6x plus c so this is our answer okay so I hope that's uh, clear with you and we have here another uh, example so I'll give uh, example number five. So actually, this is from the practice uh, items, but let's try to solve this. So, given this integral of the quantity 18 y to the fifth power and minus 7 y to the power 4 over 3. Then plus 5 times the cube root, cube root of y squared, then times dy. Okay, so this is equal to. So again, the uh, process here is the same as in our example above. You just distribute this integral sign and also the dy. So we can do it individually, each term. So we have integral of 18 y to the fifth power times dy and minus integral of 7 y to the power 4 over 3 dy then plus integral of 5 times the cube root of y squared and times dy so equals So let's uh, isolate the constant. So put the constant outside the integral sign. So 18 times the integral of y to the fifth power times dy. Then minus 7 times the integral of y to the power 4 over 3 times dy. Then plus 5 times the integral of cube root of y squared dy okay then if you look at this format it uh, follows this uh, formula number two okay so I will continue this here so equal to so uh, this is 18 using this formula so we have 18 times y to the sixth power divided by 6 then minus 7 times y to the so what is 4 over 3 plus 1 so 4 over 3 plus 1 okay so 4 over 3 plus 1 uh, 
let's try to solve it here 4 divided by 3 plus 1 so for, find the LCD so the LCD is 3 so 3 divided by 3 1 times 4 4 then plus so this is understood over 1 so 3 divided by 1 is 3 times uh, 1 is 3 so this is 4 plus 3 7 and divided by 3 so therefore this is 7 raised to a power 7 over 3 and divided by 7 over 3 then plus so this uh, term class that contains the radical you can we can rewrite this we can uh, rewrite this in terms of rational exponent so this can be written as 5 times the integral of so uh, this is cube root of y squared so this can be written as y to the power 2 over 3 2 over 3 so this is equivalent to cube root of y squared then times dy okay so we have here 18 divided by 6 so that is 3 so y to the 6 then minus 7 then invert the divisor proceed to multi multiplication so this will be times 3 over 7 and times y to the power 7 over 3 then plus you have 5 this 5 here the integral of this one so you have now n plus 1 so ang antong n our n is 2 third so let us calculate what is 2 third plus 1 so 2 third plus 1 find the LCD 3 so 3 divided by 3 1 times 2 2 plus uh, 3 divided by understood over 1 so 3 divided by uh, 1 is 3 times 1 is 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 so this will be 5 over 3 okay so that is 5 over 3 so therefore we can write this as 5 times y to the power this is uh, 2 third plus 3 is 5 thirds so 5 over 3 divided by 5 over 3 then plus c so equal to 3y to the power 6 minus so you have uh, 7 at the numerator 7 at the denominator so 7 divided by 7 is equal to 1 so what is left is 3 then y to the power 7 over 3 then plus so 5 times so rule invert the divisor proceed to multiplication so this will be 3 over 5 and times y to the power 5 over 3 then plus c so therefore we have our answer as 3 y to the 6 power minus 3 y to the power 7 over 3 then plus so we have 5 of the numerator 5 of the denominator so that is equal to 1 so what is left is 3 y to the power 5 over 3 then plus c so this is our answer okay so i hope uh uh, you've learned something to the class and I want you to practice no? there are a lot of uh, examples which uh, I mean uh, items that you can practice with and I will give that to you in our next video okay so thank you very much and hope to see you again in our next video bye